Well, it was a celebration on social media today for the centennial anniversary of the 19th Amendment. 100 years ago today, American women were granted the right to vote. It officially became law in 1920. However, state laws still prevented black women from the right to vote for decades. Now, 127 women from all backgrounds serve in Congress, and that, by the way, is the most ever. And in Georgia, women make up 30% of legislators in our state. Now, one of them is Congresswoman Lucy McBath, who introduced a new bill to fight gun violence called the Federal Extreme Risk Protection Order Act of 2019 to members of Congress today. It is our duty as lawmakers to ensure the safety of all Americans and extreme risk laws are a powerful tool that should be available for every single community across our nation. More than a dozen states already have extreme risk laws, also known as red flag laws. The goal is to help a person in crisis from harming themselves or others by temporarily removing guns and stopping them from buying firearms. There have been 150 mass shootings in the U.S. so far this year, and the CDC reports 100 Americans die every day from gun violence. Inaction is no longer an option. We have the power, the ability, and the responsibility to change our nation's laws to save lives. Opponents argue extreme risk laws violate Second Amendment rights. In March, the Republican-controlled uh, Senate held President a hearing about the extreme uh, protection orders. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham led the charge, saying the law could have prevented the deaths of 17 students and teachers at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida last year. There are times, like in the Parkland case, where if the law enforcement community had these tools, they could intervene and they could do something about it. Now, Graham did admit a federal law was not likely, but in April he said he started working on a new bill that would give incentives to states that pass extreme risk protection orders.